But without further ado. No. I don't want this mode. Let's carry on. And uh, yeah, we are playing still without the um, music on again. Let's see how much of this we can actually remember from last night. And how much we uh, are going to need to get back into stuff. Do you know what? While I'm at it, just so I don't see it. Let's turn off the timer as well. Let's go on K7. How are you doing tonight, buddy? I was just saying at the beginning of the show, I don't know if he was here in time or not, but I um, don't know how long we're going to go for tonight. We'll uh, see. I've got a bit of a headache. So we'll see how yeah, it's kind of going off. But uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Let's um, also... Because I'm sick of Summit B-Side song. Let's um, see if I can't find the soundtrack on YouTube or something. A continuous thing. Uh, Give a bit of a variety. Let me know how that sounds. Whether the audio is good or not. Too loud, etc., etc., etc. Don't know how much um, how much of a chill stream it's going to be for me. Just trying to take some pressure off, though. Everything nice and um, nice and calm, nice and relaxing, rather than the hustle of the Summit B-side song. It's a bit loud. There we go. Let's try that. He's getting the groove. At least I'm not like massively off. It's just in order on the the OST, so I think it. it I'm pretty sure the OST. Um, just plays them in order as the levels in the game. Golden Ridge B side is probably the most chill track, though, on the entire OST. Is the music too loud? Is it or is it all right? Just right. That's what I like to hear. Everything is gonna be alright. Everything. I haven't heard that song for a while. It's 
too far over on the right of the cloud. instead. Didn't get around the cloud enough. I was watching a little bit of last night's back earlier and um, I'm pretty sure as I thought at the time my dash input was too late on after I get past that last like over the top of that last spring into like the gem area I just need to dash like fractionally earlier to um, be able to keep the right height through there not gone completely to pot at least um so to do some work on that cloud he says I'm always thinking to myself, I'm quite conscious that throughout this entire game, I'm just constantly holding the grab button. It's weird, I, I just, like, just right there, I let go of the grab button for the first time. And I just like, totally forgot where my inputs and everything, yeah, I, I gotta hold grab. I know I don't need to, but it'll make that edge boost a lot easier. But yeah, I just like, stop holding grab and it's like, my hands completely can't understand what it is that I need to press. It's it's weird. I would have thought holding a I would have thought holding a, a button down with a finger that you don't even use for anything else would have so much of an impact. It's crazy. But I guess that's muscle memory for you. I missed it. What's going on, poor Ponky? Welcome on stream, buddy. How are you doing? Um, Eddie shared something quite nice with me last night, which was the um, the unofficial recursed DLC. It looks quite interesting. quite interested to see what sort of mechanics and uh, new things that they've come up with in it. So uh, yeah, definitely uh, nice to bring a bit of recurse back to the stream. Um, if you are talking about the Celeste custom made D sides, then that is a big negatory. They're the only ones that I know of. It's exceptionally hard. Well, I gathered that because the when I was reading the information earlier on today, um, it said like there was like 18, 18 extra levels that were going to be like twenty hours, uh, twenty hours of gameplay or something.
Yeah, one of the... Um, there's a Twitch streamer I watch pretty much daily in the week, and um, he's doing a... He's doing like a very... He's doing like a special meme week event this week, where he's just like playing like really crappy games and stuff, and one of his donations incentives is if he reaches... It will be to play the D-sides, and man, yeah, the... Um, the D sides are insane. But yeah, they do look like they are very nicely and well put together, as if they were part of the original the the original game. Also, uh, Paul Pong, I started playing the uh, I started playing uh, uh, Ike Banner last week as well. Man, that's uh, that's uh, <laughs> interesting, definitely. The um, difficulty curve, man. It's something else. Uh, I haven't been playing it on stream. I've just been playing it kind of... I've just, like, had it open on my computer while I've been um, working on, uh, like, remote computers and stuff. So, that's so why I've been waiting for, like, programs and stuff to load. I've just been, like, checking it out bits and pieces. But, yeah, I haven't been streaming that one, unfortunately. I've actually started to play quite a few games, like, off-stream. Because it's not very often that I actually... Um, it's not very often I play games where I can just, like, chill and enjoy them off-stream. So... That's uh, definitely a nice game to play. Work out where they put some plant pots, just some nice sort of ambient noises and stuff. Yeah. one with the flower pots. But yeah, going back to uh, K7, going back to the uh, the streamer that I was talking about who was doing like his uh, meme week event this week. Um, he actually did something quite interesting yesterday and the day before. Uh, one of his um, events was to play was um, Super Celeste Boy. So basically what he set up was um, he set up his controller so that he could play Super Meat Boy and Celeste with the same inputs at the same time. And um, it was quite, it was quite an interesting experience, that's for sure. Uh, basically the rules were, um, if either of the characters died, then he had to restart the, like, the, the screen for each character's. I need to get around that cloud better. Um, so yeah, he had to restart, and he had to basically alternate, um, like who had to complete the screens, kind of thing. So he got, he basically did it all the way through till the chase scene on old site, but then it was pretty much impossible because um, when you're being chased by a battling, there's not really a lot of time that you can actually do anything. Oh! So what I th thought there was... What I thought I was going to do, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, 
But yeah, he's um, the guy. He, he basically, he, like I said before, he's he's hit all his uh, incentives for me and week. So um, he's put some bonus ones on there, and one of his bonus ones is to um, play the Celeste D sides, which I'm really looking forward to if he gets there. I think he's got to get to like something like raise three thousand dollars, I think, to which he's almost there. I need to just go and check out this um, gem area here again. So we can get up to there. I think it is. I, I dash up, dash right, drop down, dash right, up right, right, up right, up right, up left, up right, right, grab on to the block. <sighs> we are literally, f when we get there, we are literally like four stamina crystals away. Which is what I, I hope at least is the end of the level. Or if at least not the end of the level, I hope it's a freaking checkpoint. I found that with the mirror temple though. Once I got past the bubbles into that gem section on mirror temple, I did the gem section within like two or three attempts, so... So that's an escort mission? What? What you talking about, Paul Ponky? Man, Let's say. Listen to these, um... <laughs> this ain't no golden eye. Um... I say, it's been such a long time since... It feels such a long time since we listened to A-side songs. Was Elvis the was Elvis the computer mainframe? I don't know. Oh man. No, now I'm trying to think. Oh Elvis was the alien. Oh, man, it's such a long time since freaking Perfect Dart was out, man. Holy crap. The, the, the main thing I remember about, um, the main thing I remember, wasn't it like the Armstrong facility or something? Armstrong seems to ring a bell. The, the one, like, thing I remember about Perfect Dark, and it was the multiplayer, was there was, like, one really OP gun, which basically see everybody through walls, and you could just shoot people through walls. Carrington Institute, that's right, that's right. Is it the far sight gun? Yeah, I don't remember, I don't remember, like, the, the weapons and, uh, the actual names of weapons and stuff. I have to say, I played, I didn't play Perfect Dark as much as I played uh, Goldeneye. But, um, yeah, that was at the Carrington Institute. 
I always remember buying Perfect Dark, and I had to buy I had to buy the expansion pack as well for my uh, Nintendo 64. Man, good times. So it was that time you could you could play the game. You, that was it. You could play the you could play the game without the expansion pack, but you could only like play certain aspects of the game. Used to get on the back. I think it was on the back of the box. It used to be like a tick tick section, tick box table kind of thing, which would tell you what you could and couldn't do with and without the uh, expansion pack. Oh, the memories! Game was far ahead of its time. All player options were very advanced. It also the co-op and counter co-op. Yeah. See, I, I remember I was sort of... Was I, I must have been like 14, 15 when Perfect Dark came out. I think I was 15 because I was doing... I did work experience. Um, in retail. Uh, and I remember I was at the place. I was working at work experience at this place when the game came out. Um, so I pre-ordered it there, um, but we used to our um, our maths teacher at the time. He was like really into Golden Eye and and stuff. So we always used to have, bring our controllers in, and we used to have four-player Golden Eye and uh, lunch breaks and stuff at secondary school, which was uh, pretty cool. I like to say that I don't really remember. So much about the plot of um, Perfect Dark. Probably because, though, in retrospect to GoldenEye, I've seen I've seen the GoldenEye film multiple times, and I'm pretty I, I know the plot anyway from the film. So being based around a film kind of helps somewhat. I need to chill out on the cloud more so I get actually get to jump off the cloud. Back to the old N64 days, though. One game that I owned was probably the worst Nintendo 64 game I ever played. Was um, uh, I, I had South Park. That was an absolutely atrocious game. And um, actually, remember, I somebody wanted to borrow it for Diddy Kong Racing, and I I never gave him. I never gave Diddy Kong Racing back. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I think, actually, I swapped it with the guy, and then the guy moved away from where I lived. So, um, yeah. That was too early. Uh, you got board games going at lunch? Nice. Um, some people in my office actually do that, I think. Um, obviously, I work from home, but the guys in the office, they recently moved offices. And uh, the boss has put, uh, got like a pool, t a boardroom that converts into a board table that converts into a pool table. Um, got Xbox and stuff, and some retro consoles. But um, yeah, no, the guys in the office actually sit there and play board games instead of, you know, playing those sorts of things. So I've never really been like a big board game person, if I'm honest. I try and sit down and play some board games with the kids. Like, they love, um, you know, my kids are eight and four, so, you know, can't get anything too serious involved, but they love playing, um, 
My kids love playing Junior Monopoly, which is always good. Nice, quick game. Um, I, I couldn't tell you what they play, Poor Ponky, because like I say, I, I don't, I don't, because um, I don't work in the office, so I, I really don't know. But I know they're like, um, I think they're like really into their strategy games and stuff. Oh dear. Ooh, almost saved it. It's mad though, because like we've our company moved office probably about uh, 15 months ago. Uh, we rented a place, and now my, then my boss bought like an empty shell, and he's converted it into like a massive office. Um, with actually like sub offices underneath that he rents out as well, but. It's mad. We've got like a pool table now. We've got like some got Xbox. We've got the like mini NES things, like the NES with like the built-in games in them. Um, we have an Xbox 360. We've got the pool table. We've got a beer pump in the office. It's just crazy. I always say to my boss though, you know, when's it's like I'm two hours north of like where the office is and I said to my, my boss so when's when's the northern office getting their pool table I when are you gonna buy me a pool table for my house but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a, a computer programmer we're, we're in IT um, Paul Ponky I be a programmer we not had this conversation before maybe not I'm the only one in my company that does software development, so everybody else does um, like support. Do you do um? So do you do C sharp in your job? Uh, sorry, not. Do you do C plus plus in your job, Paul Ponker? Is that just purely like a? A hobby on the gaming side of things for a recurse that you've played around with C++ or? I haven't touched C++ since the day I graduated in, well, not the day I graduated, but when I graduated in 2008. So I haven't touched C++ now for ooh, 11 years. Shader stuff, nice. Oh. Don't want to blow my own trumpet here, but... Cloud strats, easy now, easy. That's good. No, I can't get past the first cloud. I would like to get back into C++, but I don't know. I started doing it when I was 17. I had a good uh, six year spell of doing C++. But then when I moved, after graduating and moving, um, I took a job and it kind of required me to get into C sharp so I'm pretty much I'm a C sharp kind of guy completely self-taught in C sharp as well so C sharp is my day-to-day -day language See, I always, I always had an opinion with C++ with um, that it was kind of like, because it was, everything I did with C++ was, well, I say everything, most majority of stuff I did with C++ was all command line stuff, and I might, I don't know, I kind of took a bit of a naive view of C++ thinking, well, why do I want to know a language which is, 
Why do I want to work with a language which is kind of like command line? Who uses command line in this day and age? But I do know that obviously C, -sharp, C++ is such a powerful language. remember turn my phone off do not disturb we had a um I can't remember what it's called now, but we did have a an in-house graphics library um, at my university. Um, we kind of like integrated with it, so we uh, did make I did make a uh, like a bubble popping game for one of my assignments, and my final year, although we didn't add a graphical element to it, we made a networked. Um, Battleships program that ran. Which was kind of it was kind of a little bit hard to use because obviously there was no we didn't have the we didn't manage to get the graphical side of it put in there. But um, then we did like some more graphical stuff with uh, semaphores and stuff. So the C plus plus just seems to be the like the most common language that universities teach, regardless of. What you want to do and where you want to go into, C++ use everything. You know, we was learning about semaphores for operating systems, but um, we're still programming in C++ for that to demonstrate concepts. So it's really weird. My worry though is like, I often, I'm often kind of like looking at jobs and things and thinking is it time I moved on and started challenging myself a little bit more. Um, but I, I often worry that because I've worked so long on my own, you know, whether or not I've kind of like almost lost some of my abilities and I've, I, I worry that I've fallen into bad habits and that I wouldn't be able to integrate it into a team environment. I've never worked in like a proper industrial team environment with software development and I don't know how I would get on so it kind of like deters me but then I suppose if I wanted a new job and a new challenge that's all part of the fun right? Pascal or Scalar. Python seems to be, I saw um, like a league table of programming languages for 2018. I think Python is like the most, one of the most popular and up and coming languages at the minute. Seems to be gaining popularity massively. Uh, that was my original strap hole punk, but it's very it's a very difficult um, to actually hit the spring Which is why we kind of use the cloud strat instead I mean I can certainly give it a go. I don't know if I've got enough time to react myself to do it But yeah, we were trying to work with that strap last night initially Excited. That's the furthest I've got, though.
There's so much I want to do and so much I want to learn, though, but... My problem is I always want to do too much. And what I want to, what I want to kind of learn and stuff... The only time I get to kind of learn would be at this time of the day. But often I just want to sit and play games. I only get, like, effectively six days of Fortnite or six evenings of Fortnite where it's, like, my time. Or I'm even not looking after the kid to spend time with the wife, so... You know, 12... 12 three-hour periods a month isn't a lot of time to be trying to learn new stuff and getting everything done. You know, I really want to do more DJing. I want to... I started working trying to do Unity stuff. Oh, shit. So... I'm trying to do Unity. Um, I want to f actually finish a freaking hammer map for Portal. But then, you know, I get to the end of the day and all I want to do is sit here and play games, so... Oh, I... My mind went blank as to where I was meant to be going there. I have been trying to learn little bits of Python though, because I'm I'm quite I am quite interested in um, learning about ethical hacking, and the tutorial I've been following on that um, when I have been doing stuff um, uses Python, so it was kind of a it was kind of a bit of a good excuse to kind of start learning Python. Um, it seems it seems pretty basic, and, well not basic but pretty straightforward of a, of a language to pick up. But then my philosophy has always been a lot of the time that um, with programming language, as long as you know what, um, as long as you know what you want to achieve, it's just a matter of you know working out how to to write that in the language. So um, I try and take like that approach a lot of the time with programming. Almost like when you go to a foreign country, you know what you want to say. You just need to know the syntax to actually say it. Controller cables almost wrapped around my freaking foot.
You think Ridge shoots it better than Summit? What I really like about like the sound design in this game, like the well, not sound design, but the, the music, is that a lot of the tracks kind of like start off so subtly, and then they just slowly, slowly build up and build up and build up into like a more kind of like an, a more epica, a more epica, a more epic kind of like listening experience to like g up the atmosphere. I don't think I've ever liked uh, a game's OST as much as I did, or much as I have enjoyed Celeste's. They did a fantastic job on it. They did a fantastic job on the game all around, in my opinion, but... That was a save and a half. I'll, um, I, th I think I'm, f I think I'm following her on Spotify. Um, I'll have to check out some more of her stuff, though. Definitely, if she's done, if she's done more. go of yeah I let go of right don't know why Keep letting go right. Is this the end of is this on the end of the ridge song? Is this the cable car bit? Because if so, I never realised it like led so well into like the mirror temple song. the stamina block I think I didn't really stop in time and check the stream back to actually see what I did do I think I just dashed a little bit too low if I'm honest and just dashed underneath the gem I think I've, I think I'm, I know I just messed it up that time, but I'm feeling really confident now about that second, the second cloud. Getting around there now is, seems to be a, a bit of a breeze in comparison to what it was before. So I'm really happy about that. I just now need to nail down this last section. More than anything, it's the second gem. Oh, I wasn't constrained. Um, it's the second gem, so when it's like 
you do the upwards dash and getting into that area before going back down. That's the bit that I'm not very sure about at the minute. That's where I need to work, but obviously I also need to work on the dash distance to um, get to the first gem in that section as well. The one at the like right at the bottom before we dash right. My headache's gone. It's uh, positive. Yeah, that's the bit. That's the bit now that I'm, I need to understand how to do better. Because if I dash, I hit the spikes. But I haven't got enough height to get across there else. I'm... I don't know. It's a tough one. Come clan! What is going on, man? Welcome along to the stream. Hope you are well. Any tips for that second stamina gem there, K7 at all? I don't know where to position Madeline at that point. Going good? Good to hear, my man. Good to hear. How's um, how's Barbara is you going? When you do the up dashes, you want to hug the left wall a little bit more, okay? Gone to a point where I'm going to need to spend a long time trying to figure out a puzzle. Oh, really? Is it um, the one thing I'm I'm a little bit unsure about? Is it um, are levels on that randomly generated, or is it um, are the levels like set? Do you have the same um, items in each level at each time? I mean, not each level, but I was doing upwards diagonal there. They're all fixed. Oh, okay. Just one thing I was unsure. I didn't know if it was like there was a random element to it or what. What items? Uh, the things that you can push around, Paul Ponky, is what I meant.
Oh, okay. Wow, well, how did I not end up in the spikes there? I, t I was looking at something else completely off screen. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah, definitely. I can imagine there's going to be some um, very interesting levels and things being created on that. I look forward. Let's say I just look forward to getting the game and actually uh, giving it a go. I had a quick look at um, your latest VOD from the other day, but obviously because I want to play it for myself. Didn't want. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Left wall. Good strap. Thanks, K7. That definitely worked out a lot better that time. But yeah, I didn't want to watch too much because I don't want to spoil it too much for myself. So when I finally get around to playing it. See you, look. Cloud strats, easy. Uh, I do plan on playing all them in one sitting at some point. Uh, how many how many maps is Rogan putting out? Do you know? I haven't actually had a chance to check out any of Rogan's maps yet, but um, I wonder how many Rogan is planning. 30? My god, Rogan has been busy. My good god. Alright, well. Maybe I'm maybe I won't do a um maybe I won't be doing videos for Rogan. I'll just be playing them as and when they come out on the days. Don't break the illusion, Conclan. Rogan is his own person. Don't don't break illusion. Don't pretend that you're somebody you're not. I know you're not Rogan. Rogan is a weird concoction of my face and somebody else. <laughs> I think it was last night. Actually, um, when we was playing last night, it came up and I showed I showed this the. Sorry, I showed the <laughs> I showed the stream the uh, the profile picture. Was that the original Noshi picture? Man. The one and only. Oh, Noshi is a bit dead on my channel now. I've I have started um, recently not featuring the Noshi tag anymore. The Noshi hashtag. Rip Noshi. 2018, 2019, maybe even 2017. I can't remember. Is that a picture of Dashi then? Is that um, that you used to put my face on? That would make sense if it is, I guess. Oh, I ball step. Hence where the meme came from. Speaking of memes, uh, we had this conversation a little bit earlier on. One of the streamers I follow on Twitch, um, I watch pretty much daily, um, he's doing a, a meme week at the special event this week, Meme Week, where he's playing a load of meme games and stuff. And um, one that he's he's got a challenge coming up, which I, I thought of you, actually, Conclan. Um, he's got to play Cuphead, um, but instead of using a uh, controller, he's got to do it using a dance pad. 
I don't know why I just thought of you. I have to say though, his 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 meme week event has been quite remarkable, to be honest. He raised like a load of money for charities, had like loads of giveaways and stuff. It's been a been a good week. Played some real horrible meme games as well. Is this wait, K seven? Okay, You're, is was is that that track there? Is that the one that if you play it backwards, there's a secret message? I still need to. There's, there, there is a track on the soundtrack where you play backwards and it's you can make out what's being said. Is that the track? Is that the point in the track? You haven't heard it? If you listen very carefully... I thought it was raining outside, but it's the game. Jeez. Round about here. If you listen carefully, it sounds like somebody's talking. And somebody said that there is a point where if you play it backwards, you can actually hear a secret message being spoken. Anyway. my rhythm. I think that's going to be like the next the next game I get from my wish list Conclan because I really want to maybe start playing um, I really want to maybe start playing well that was a statement and a half um, I really want to start playing custom zombies again especially if you're going to make maps for zombies Three hours thirty. Fuck yes. Uh, 
Um, hey. It's hard to believe it is over, isn't it? Funny how we get attached to the struggle. Promise me that I'll, you'll take care of yourself, okay? Um... We did it! Oh my goodness. You could say I got a bit excited. Oh, Conclan, you are an absolute boss. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> let's, uh, let's share that right away. <laughs> oh, yes. <coughs> oh, dear. Did it, boys. Did it. Whew. Thanks, Conclan. Thanks for clipping it. One golden heart. Only 1,200 deaths. That's quite good in comparison to my other summit deaths. Alright, well, now that we've done that. Yeah, making your own models will be will be ace conclam. And then there was one. Actually, before I do that, oh nice, cool. I need to go get a drink. I'm back in two seconds, guys. Good sec. Yeah, that was definitely a good one. That was definitely a good one. K seven. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Um, Time. Three screens stand between me and 100%. I think there's three screens. There might be more. Alright. Now we need to learn hyper jumping. Edge. Yeah. I need to jump up. Alright, so. Oh, jeez. It's all about doing them low jumps. Also. Let's get rid of the display capture, shall we? That's better. You see, I'm sure I do it. I've been doing it differently, I think.
All right. I seem to have more success though if I do jump K7. Actually, I'm doing this wrong. Alright. Sorry. One of the things, I guess, of using a non-standard... Yeah, I'm doing it the wrong way around. I was pressing jump, not dash. Yeah. And that's what I would. That's how I've been doing. That's how I've been doing them in my. Um, what I've been practicing. All right, so. I need to do this. Get on that platform. And as I jump up, I need to time my dash. Oh, jeez. No, I can't do it at all. What did you miss? You missed the best reaction in the world ever, Paul Ponky. We, we got we got to show this for Paul Ponky. We got to show it. Get get ready for it. Get ready. Oh yes, 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 yes! <laughs> did it, boys? Did it? There you go. That's what you missed. That's what you missed. See what I'm gonna do. Let's return to the map. And That's pretty much it, right? Pull uh, K7. Man. 
Brutal. Almost. Wrong game, poor Ponky. <laughs> this ain't no restart bird. Oh, I messed that up straight away. You say you found this uh, this beat this seaside quite fun. Uh, K seven. I think I'm safe here to use both my dashes. Definitely. All right, also. God, how am I meant to? All right, like that. Do you know what? Let's um, as well. Sorry, I know I'm kind of like um, dop ducking and diving. Let's go back to um, let's go back to the normal A side music. Music's quite um, mirror temple music's quite um, fitting for core actually. Good man. about getting the right sort of height through what's going on tesseract how you doing tonight my man Good, thanks. You just missed the best 
reaction to completing a level ever. Um. Oh, I don't get my dash back though, do I? Of course. Um, yeah, after three and a half hours, we just completed the previous level. And this is the final level that we need to do now. The final level for our 100% goal on this game. So, yeah, we're doing good. Uh, not sure. Here you go. Check out. Check it out. So someone subbed to someone sub to the channel, but I haven't seen a notification or anything pop up. Uh, nothing has changed on my overlay, so um, if somebody has subbed to subscribe to my channel and it's not been uh, identified, thank you very much. I appreciate it, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> I think that's uh, K7. Ah, didn't need dash there. Uh, K7's more the man to sort of say about it, but that's pretty much the hardest level in the game that we just completed. I believe. That if that was the hardest, this is this is this is just a meme. K7, is it, um, is it the same though as like all the other seasides? Is it just three screens? Or is there more screens on core? Surely it's got to continue. I need to like work out and like better that jump through there. It's like what well, to work on consistency now. That seems to be the thing to do. Oh. Does that mean? It's going to go on for freaking ages. And ages and ages and ages and ages. That's the vibes I'm getting from that. I will see. Uh, Alright, so... Also... I, I, you know what, I'll just wait. I'll wait. i got to get past this one first. The third screen is rest longer than the rest of the game. Fifty-three hours up to this point, we got in, we're in the final screen for another fifty-three hours. The ultimate troll. <laughs> game be like, I ain't giving you this last trophy. Hell no.
<laughs> you've got a golden strawberry all the levels without a break in between. That's the final screen. The ultimate meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get good. Oh man. I find these blocks so unpredictable. I know they're they're not. And there is I need to What was I doing there? Jeez. And that, that track there, it's almost like the freaking speakers are distorted. Screen is escort mission. <laughs> uh, from what the music or the uh, the actual level uh, tests? I've actually played Binding of Isaac, so uh, I can't comment on that. Could maybe stall there and wait for a stamina gem to re generate. Wow, the speed! Holy cow! That's what I mean about the blocks, man. They're so... There's no, there's no, like, common thing. I need to work out how I can get, like, a, a slower speed off that block. Because that's just crazy. Final screen is you got to play the entire game Pico 8 style. Is that what you're saying? They actually remade the entire game. The original Pico 8, Pico 8 label that you play is just um, it's just a ruse. We're actually going to find Hashiro sitting on the next screen, sat at his office with a computer, playing the full Pico 8 version of Celeste. Oh, Madeline. Come on, Madeline. <laughs> Don't think it works like that, does it? Unfortunately. Come on. I've got to jump off it before it gets too far, before it springs back too far. So I don't get so much speed. So 
So what? What do I need to do? Hold the block lower. Speed is fine. You just want less height. Okay. Overcompensated. I could probably do it if I'm just quicker on my dash. Literally, the minute I hit that stamina gem, I need to be uh, dashing up. Aaron! What's going on, my man? Welcome along to stream. Hope you are well. You saw the clip. This is the final level, man. We have made it to the final level for the 100%. Uh, I'm good, thanks. I'm very good. Glad to be off that last level. As you can see, the celebration went pretty well. Super Meat Boy, yes. It's very much um, Super Meat Boy style with that hardcore platformer kind of thing. I was saying earlier on, I, I felt, watched um, another streamer who's doing like a special kind of charity meme week this week. Um, and one of his challenges was to play um, Super Meat Boy and Celeste at the same time using the same controller. And it was pretty epic to see, I'll be honest. I do want to go back to uh, Super Meat Boy at some point and finish it off. But um, I think I've played a lot of... I was talking, discussing this last night's stream. I've played a lot of platformers recently. Um, this is kind of on the back almost of like another hardcore platform that we play, Black Hole. So um, I definitely want to change it up next time. I was thinking about maybe throwing in another RPG next time uh, for the next game on the stream, but... All right, all right, all right. That was better. Uh, I haven't really made a decision yet. If it's going to be an RPG, it will probably be um, Final Fantasy VIII or um, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past from the SNES. Um, but we have a, a massive catalogue of games. I'm also not going to be done with Celeste because um, I'm going to be trying to I want to be working on uh, my any percent run. I want to kind of speed run the game a little bit. So, yeah. <sighs> pinballs, man. You've got to be pixel perfect with the pinballs. So, yeah. Um, currently, I sit at about 802 out of 820 on the leaderboard. I've only done one complete um, timed run of Celeste so far, just to kind of like get myself on the board. So we're going to be working on that, but uh, yeah, anyway, like I said, haven't really decided what comes next. It's been a while since I've done a DJ stream, so I need to get um, some D a DJ stream in as well at some point. Again, it goes back to a conversation we were having earlier on in the stream where just so much, so much to do and so little time. Oh, I needed to hit the freaking side. When I'm up in the air, I could probably come down and get the stamina block to re, re get my um, dashes back, so... Also, I couldn't actually tell you the last time I actually had two of my mods in the chat at the same time. <laughs> Crazy. Going lower has definitely helped though, K7. So thanks for that little tip. Appreciate that.
Best behave you, please, poor Ponky. All them nasty things you say about Aaron earlier on, uh, when he wasn't around. Just make sure you uh, don't say anything like that again, right? <laughs> Just too low on that, um, on the second dash there. Ponky likes that, followed by the next message in chat saying, Poor Ponky has been timed out. Speed. I can't. I can't get a consistent speed off that block. I'm either the right speed but too low, or the right height and just massively too fast. I had, to, I had to compensate the speed and then I lost all my I lost all my rightward momentum I didn't even grab that block what's going on there Fiddlesticks. try and keep it PG if I can. Simple reason that um, my son occasionally watches my videos and so do some of his friends so I like to keep it nice and nice and uh, PG if I can. There are the occasional potty mouth words but There's no proof that I ever said that. What are you talking about? <laughs> Excuse me. high on this block now which is giving me too much speed I know I keep saying it like over and over again but how many times right when I start to build a bit of consistency do I then start to I then mess it up and then I can't even like get past like the first couple of screens again it's so depressing
No escalators yet. There's time. So I just want to check something here. That's not what I wanted to check. Oh, that's all right. I just wanted to check how much further the level went on after that um, second element switch, but that is like the end of the screen. Yeah. And then I fat finger inputs. Like there, I did um, I did an upwards dash. I need to do an I need to do an upwards right dash instead. You start to lose your momentum, and then everything starts to go wrong. Story of my playthrough. in the heart of the controller. Maybe maybe that's my problem. Maybe I need to take the um, the knock purple off my controller. I need to go for the um, maybe I need to go for a more of a red heart kind of pinky red. How's that? That's more. Is that more heart like? Maybe. Uh, did you guys actually see any difference there? Can we flash? Meant to flash. I don't know. It's pink. I don't know if you can see the pink. It still looks purple to you. But it's definitely pink. I promise. Seriously? Go ahead. Does it look any better? I don't know. It's, it's difficult. It looks white. It's maybe just too bright. It needs to be a deeper shade of pink. Let's see if the pink will help. Real men wear pink, of course. Spooky knock. Believe in the power of the pink. Your grandfather's Celeste, there's no weak jumps. It's that speed. That speed is a killer.
far too fast off that block. And then the minute you try and... The minute you try and compensate yourself on them bumpers, they're just... The bumpers are a killer. you got to be pretty much pixel perfect on them. Come on. I've only got to get across three bumpers and I've done the screen. Is it so much to ask, Madeline? Then the real test starts. So I'm led to believe. The year is 2136. Humanity has cursed all, has cured all diseases, limited poverty and world hunger. Now humanity faces its greatest challenge yet. Controller input lag! Damn those first world problems. That's my favourite kind of thing at the minute. Well, it's not... That just seems like a terrible thing to say, but whenever my kids at the minute like moan about stuff, it's like, yeah, people starving out there, and you're moaning because your chip is slightly browner than normal. The year is 2136, and Nark is still stuck on this screen. Desperately, frant frantically, not. I'll get there in a minute. Here we observe the knock in its natural habitat, frantically pushing buttons on a controller to try and progress through this screen. Just one more screen lays in Nock's path and he will find ultimate happiness. But yet still, after countless times of trying, the knock is still stuck in his habitat. Incorrectly pushing buttons. Is that an Ian? <laughs> Is that a um, an Ian Malcolm reference? <laughs> Knock. Um, finds a way. All right. I've got to save a dash. Have I got to save a dash? Help me, K7. You're my only hope. David Attenborough, no. Um, that was... I talk about my impression. My impression was like a... Not necessarily David Attenborough, but like a... A nature documentary kind of thing, yes. I can't save a dash though to get over there. I've got to use my dashes, so I can't save a dash. Do this to me. Oh wait, credit music's rolling. I win. <laughs> no, it was um, Jeff Goldblum. 
play the Amalgam in Jurassic Park. Um, Rich, uh, Richard Attenborough, David's brother, um, played John Hammond. Alright, so, I see what I need to do. I see what needs to be done. That's, that's not what needs to be done. Just like to, you know, point that out right there, just so there's no confusion. This can't be the last screen, I'm sorry, I, I refuse to believe that this is the last screen. exhausted the end of the oh no we've still got something else to come well wow, we haven't heard core yet have we that's right I seem to call up TGH get TGH in here I'm sure I've got him on speed dial somewhere yo Teach Trying to come in here for me and just uh, hit up this screen for me just so I can get onto the last one. Much appreciated. Because you know, I'm sure the number one world record holder wants to help the guy out who's in 805th position on the leaderboard. <laughs> This on PS. If this is on PS4. I could just, you know, everybody up for a bit of share play. Here, have the controller. Do this level for me. It's all good. Seven. I just know it's rude to play Portal when you're watching me stream.
I'm getting far too much speed now off this block. This is why I get frustrated. I'm gonna go hang up, wash him. Don't win while some away. I will try not to, Paul Ponky. I don't know how to bounce off that bumper. Because I'm pretty sure I've got to bounce off there and get on top of the next one only using one dash. Which means the, the angle for kind of doing that is quite pivotal. Jump on top of it, move to the right, then move to the left, hitting the bumper in the middle. Yeah. K7 wrote it, means I've done it. It's a proven science fact. Somebody writes it in Twitch chat. The streamer gets to do it. The streamer does it straight away. It's already done. The streamer doesn't even need to do it. suggestion on level design just get rid of the vertical spike columns make everything a lot easier just saying So I'd see tr soundtrack. one sad times all right well
So I've only been on the, I've only been on something for 46 minutes, so it's not like uh, you know. Uh, sorry, I've been on call for 46 minutes. It's not like Summit where we were on it for hours, and the same song over and over again was getting repetitive. So. I need to do but if you mess it up and lose that dash then there's no there might be a recovery but it's not an easy one Just can't watch. <laughs> oh, that's not can't watch. Looking at that, it's a uh, scared face. Don't be scared. There are only spikes that kill me. You know, nothing to be scared about. Anticipation. May we see another over the top I did it reaction just for completing this room. Find out later in this episode of Knock Dies a Lot in Celeste. Too quickly and kind of compose myself on the bumper. Didn't jump off there. Wow, did you see? The velocity there, that's crazy. Knock stream Z. Sounds too much like Dragon Ball Z in no way 
whatsoever, apart from the last letter. Going on, smart tree. You could say we got excited. It's not like it was on the internet though, and there's no proof. So um, yeah, I deny everything unless you can prove otherwise. <laughs> How you doing tonight, buddy? Over. What clip? I didn't post no clip. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, fool? So look, Tess with me. I don't know what he's talking about, Tess. I ain't seen no clips tonight of you. I've been too busy trying to jump over these freaking spikes. Maybe, maybe my Discord account was hacked. Maybe it was. Maybe it was Rogan. Rogan's got my picture. That's who it was. It was Rogan. Rogan did it. Blame on Rogan. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome, Paul Ponky. I've just literally just been, you know, chilling out, pretending to kind of not do it while uh, you've been away. So now that you're back, I'll um, now that you're back, I'll you know get back into proper serious mode and stop messing about, killing myself, and we'll, we'll crack on and do it, shall we? I'll just, you know, chill out a bit more and kill myself a bit more than poor Ponky, right? I'll just wait for you, don't worry. Take your time. I'm in no rush. What's an extra few minutes on? What's an extra few minutes on already nearly an hour? Too much speed there, man. See you later. Tess has called the cops on you, Iron Smeltry. You better go running, man. You better go rubbing. Running. Robin? You better go Robin? No, you better go running. The police are on the way. The po-po. Well, that's it. You know, I, I, I just... I'm, I'm here to provide an entertainment service to, to, you know, the people that watch. And if somebody's not here, then, you know, they would like me not to complete the screen while they're not here. Then, you know, it's just all about, you know, practicing, isn't it? We're just testing out those speedrun straps while we wait for Paul Ponky to come back. That's all it is. Because clearly, you know, once I've completed this level, I'm going to be playing it so many more times. I'm going to be going for those golden strawberries, of course. Completing the levels deathless. Yeah, that's, that, that's basically all I am waiting for, is for Port Ponky to come back. Once he comes back, 
I'm just going to literally smash it out of the park. I mean it. This is all just practice. Well, that's it. What about the secrets as well? Not a better mana in Smeltry, you know. I... It's bad to gamble. It's very bad to gamble. You shouldn't gamble. It's a very, uh... It's an addiction. Ah, oh, I messed it up. It's an addiction and it can get you into serious trouble. So yeah, I, I highly advise. This is the, the Knox public service announcement in regards to gambling. Gambling's bad, okay. If you, if you do lots of gambling, okay. Um, then you're going to end up in lots of trouble because you're going to have no money, okay? And then you, you get yourself into trouble with all sorts of people. And uh, it's really not a good a good place to be in, okay? So what I'm trying to say is gambling's bad. Please don't gamble. This has been a Gamble aware message from from Knock. For further advice, please visit gambleaware.knock.com. Aaron's got it, look. Aaron's got it down. I also offer a, you know, a, a full tailored package to, you know, support package for anybody that would um, like further advice about gambling. Um, you can find more information at um, www.paypal.com forward slash Nick Scottney. And uh, you'll find all the instructions there of how you can sign up to the program for a small nominal donation of $100 per session. Can I get a gamble refund from Knock Two? Um, unfortunately, the 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 program is actually non-refundable. So, um, unfortunately, once you've um, once you've signed up to the program, um, unfortunately, that that is your money gone. Um, some people say the it's a gamble to sign up for the program in the first place, but you know that would be kind of ironic. You know, signing up for a um, Signing up for a program to help you stop gambling, which is actually something that you need to gamble on. But uh, yeah, no, don't uh, just just ignore the haters. Ignore them haters. They're just jealous that you know they ain't got the the pro gambling, the the an, the pro anti gambling advice that I have. You know, so it's a really easy program. Step one. Go to paypal.com forward slash Nick Scottney. Step two, donate $100. Step three, you'll see that um, by, by donating the, uh, the $100 to my anti-gambling program, um, you can actually no longer gamble because you, don't, you haven't got the money. So, you know, it's, it's clearly, it's, 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 a, it's as clear cut as that, you know. I hold you $100 for you. You can no longer gamble. Everyone's a winner. Goodness. I 
I'm also thinking about branching out to um, you know, kind of like a secondary program as well because um, the first one's been so successful. Um, I'm thinking of doing a an, an anti-drug uh, program as well. Drugs are bad. Okay. Okay. And um, you shouldn't do drugs. So what I'm anticipating is that um, I create another you know, help guide for... It, it, the anti-drug one will probably be a little bit more because, you know, there's a, there's a lot more... Um, there's a lot more involved in drugs, a lot more help that's needed for people. So I, I can only feel fair that uh, we'd need to up the price a little bit. Um, so I think for about $250, we can probably successfully run our anti-drug program. How does gambling affect women and the elderly? Um, well, the elderly elderly people are very, very, very vulnerable these days, and um, there's lots of um, there's lots of scammers out there who are trying to con the elderly out of pensions and things, which I think is very it's a very worrying time for the older generation, especially those who aren't really very tech savvy and and don't understand the latest sort of scams and things. So. Um, I think um, the elderly are probably uh, the elderly should probably uh, be able to gamble, if I'm honest, because um, a lot of the time, <laughs> I don't know where Kevin's idea is going. Um, a lot of the time, these scammers um, out in Nigeria are there just to try and take the money, and uh, you know, they are just gambling with these scammers. So. Why not just put it on 32 red and see see how you end up. So my advice to um, the elderly is um, once they've paid their $100 sign-up fee onto my anti-gambling program, they then need to have another $100 ready and waiting up front so that they can actually then go to www.888casino.com where they can then try and um, obviously increase their, their pension pots and things. But it's, it's very important that they sign up to the anti-gambling program first before they, they go ahead and do that because some uh, very useful tips, tricks and advice that um, they'll not find anywhere else. I have to. I seriously, I, I can't keep it up anymore. I'm completely out of things to say on that subject. So please do not push me on the the anti uh, the anti gambling thing anymore or anti drugs. Um, Pop Ponky, in re response to your comment, um, I have to. I have to do it like that because I have to keep a dash. And it's the only way I can see to get up onto the. Um, it's the only way I can see to get up onto the top of that bumper. I have to have a dash when I'm on top of that bumper. Or else I can't get to the end. Try to promote gambling. Uh, it's not in my uh, nature to promote gambling. The reason for that is um, my late father-in-law, um, before I met my wife, um, he was a bit of a, had a bit of a gambling problem, so um, it uh, basically left my wife's family in a lot of trouble for a little bit. And as a bit of a, almost like a sign of respect to my wife, I've just I've never been really into gambling. I don't intend showing any kind of positivity about gambling because, like I did just say in my. You know, anti-gambling gambling seminar there it's uh it's very dangerous it can be very dangerous and it can destroy lives and wreck homes so yeah i i do it's against my nature to go on to a pro gambling rant sorry you're not gonna get that one out of me even in the nature of like the fun i still can't bring myself to do it if i'm honest so
You don't think my strat is right? You better have paid for that seminar, Mr. Meltrum. I'm expecting to see a, a deposit of $100 in my uh, PayPal account. Let me, let's have a look then. Let's see if we can find, um, let's check right now. Let's, let's make sure it went in, shall we? PayPal.com. I want to sign in with Google. Why? I just want to check to see if Iron Smelter has paid his dues. Hmm. Well. Uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm going to, I'm going to send my security team around to you guys. I'm sorry. You, you just... That's theft. What you've just done is theft, guys. I'm, I'm disappointed. Tess, you still got those uh, popo on there? Uh, you still got those police on standby? Good job. Well done. I just need to dash up, I think, is my issue. Don't forget errand. the lava all right so it's got to do that crumbling blocks dream blocks oh my god no So basically, so basically, we've got to do every single mechanic, or pretty much every mechanic of every level in one straight go against lava with no checkpoints.
I got no dash. Oh. I gotta hit the top of that bumper as I dash out the dream block. Uh, no, I can't use the hyper dash. Is it hyper or is it wave dash, that one? Uh, K7. Oh my god. Didn't even go through the dream block. Okay. Oh, I thought I had a dash. Of course I haven't got a dash. Be easy if I had a dash. Need to jump out the last dream block. That's what I need to remember to do. To reflection section, which is like six, part six out of eight. Well, wow, you don't even need to be anywhere near that switch to hit it. That's interesting. That's interesting. I was nowhere near that switch when I came out that dream block, but yet yeah, still flicked over to ice. Homie! Can't get me. I'm on homie. speed. Alright, I'm pressing too hard on the buttons. My thumb is hurting. Where's the um, 
There's no nothing from hotel. Just realised. I had two dashes. They could have like proper memed me with uh, a couple of dust bunnies or something in here. Well, at least we got the dream block. Up to the dream block's bits pretty nailed down. I think I need to get what I need to do is I need to get the momentum. Go past the bumper and then come back almost. Like that. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I've kind of seen the fun side of this one though. I'll be honest. Oh man, that lava needs to move quicker. That's not good because now I'm going to dash to do that, have I? If I have a dash there, then I can't. I can't progress because I need it for the mirror temple block. Uh, Paul Ponky, he's gone. Have you gone, Paul Ponky? No! You get to ask the burning question that I had about your, the DLC for Recursed. Ah! Uh, I think Paul Ponky's gone. He's not in my chat list anymore.
Oh, no, Popong's back in the chat. Popong, are you there? Ground control to Port Punky. Ground control to Port Punky. I know, he's doing chores again. Of course, that's, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm not like finishing this level off. He's, he's not here, he's doing chores. He's probably got some more washing to put away. Jump out the dream block. It's too high there. I didn't even I didn't catch the. Here I was saying that there's a massive hitbox on the uh, the switches, and then I go and miss it. Didn't I get proven wrong? enough on the second one. Then jump out the dream block. Too high to get through the second dream block there. Then I go over the top of it, of course.
I love the way conversation's like completely died now. And I got into like serious try hard mode. I don't know how much longer I can go for though, because my thumb is really starting to hurt. And I don't seem to be able to get. Oh wow, I'm still in display mode as well. My bad. Serves me right for messing about. Too quick here. I need to slow it down so I've got more time on the ice the second time around. What is going on, my man? Man, we've had everybody here today. I appreciate everybody that's come out to the stream tonight. It's been a great laugh. It's been a great laugh.
Why can I not jump out this dream block now? Holy crap! Well, that was some... expecting to get the um, hyper dash I think it is out of there oh I gotta hold on to it there I do have a name and I can't think I can't remember what the name was now. Basically the name in this game is named after the guy who did the sound effect for them. Is it a J are they Jake is it Jason? I think they're called Jasons. Jasons or Justins? So we're gonna J. Oh, I don't get my dash back. Missed the block. We're we're pretty close here though. We're at like the summit section now. What we're getting to. Well, I'm truly in overtime zone right now. I really need to stop the stream.
Oh, I missed it. Oh! Alright, five more. Five more from here. Four more. Three more. Two more. Actually, that one doesn't count. I didn't get far enough. Three more. <laughs> Two more. Alright, last one for tonight. But I'm not, I need to finish on a nice um, even number of minutes, so we'll, we'll do one more, because then hopefully we'll be on uh, one, one, one hour and 40. No, nope, we need to do another one. We need to do another one. <laughs> not on one hour 40. I like, to, I like even numbers. Don't like odd numbers. Oh, one more. Look, we're not on 140 yet. Alright, that's it. Guys, thank you very much for tonight. I've had a blast. Um, we did. We beat Summit. We've beaten the first two of Core. We are on the very, very, very last screen to get that 100% on Celeste. Um, we've made some good progress. We've got a good rhythm momentum going. We are kind of like at that last point now. We have got all the way to the summit part of it at least. So, um, yeah. We'll be back streaming Monday night where, fingers crossed, we will finish Celeste to 100%. And um, if there's time, we may even do um, a speed run of the uh, any percent. But uh, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Like I said, it's been an absolute blast tonight. I had loads of fun. Uh, but until then, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.